Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and I was just playing around seeing what I could do for the Christmas journal and I decided I'd try to make a little banner that says Jesus. So I didn't have a lot of bright red paper but I did find this envelope. <clears throat> so I punched five circles and they look to be about about an inch and a half wide. And then I have an inch punch. Actually, I have this one that has a little scalloped edge. I think I'll use that one. And <clears throat> I'm gonna punch. That's kind of small. It's kind of cute though. Let me try the one inch. I don't know. Well, that's pretty cute. Actually, what I should do, you no, know, that's the same size. So this is an inch and this is an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm only using these because honestly, I don't have that many punches. Um, if you have more punches, you could make the red smaller. So I am just working with what I have. And so I'm going to use, I'm going to use the big red and the small white. So I'm going to punch several of these. because I am gonna write the letters on them, J-E-S-U-S, -S. and I might, oops, that one I didn't punch right, so I'm gonna, um, have a few extra, in case I don't like my letters. Okay, I think I'm going to rely on my uh, Illustrated Faith pens. I'm going to get the small one, which is the 0.25. And actually, I think I might use a pencil just to be on the safe side. I think that's the style of the letter I'm going to use. If I can... Get them to sort of look alike. When you do it in pencil, then when you go back in ink, you can kind of correct what you've done. Let's see. J-E-S. I don't think I want that circle on the U. Use your kneaded eraser. It, you can get it at Walmart. It comes in a little square like this, and then you pull it apart like bread dough and just keep making it stretch and stretch until it gets really soft, and then it erases without leaving crumbs on your artwork. Okay, and if you do it real light, then you can go back and erase it when you're done. Let's see if I can get two S's that look somewhat alike. Something like that. Okay, and they don't have to be perfect because we're going to call it whimsical <laughs> when they don't look alike. We'll just say, oh, that's whimsical. We meant for it to look like that. Okay, Let's see if I can ink these in, make them a little fatter, J, maybe that's a little exuberant, so I'm going to make it smaller. Try to make the thickness the same more or less. Okay. Since I can ink these in solidly later. J-E-S, where's the U at? Be 
you. Let's see if I can get this S to look something like the other one. Okay. Yeah, they look pretty close. All right. So I'm going to just go in and color these wide spots in. Having kind of an Indian summer here, September, but it is still pretty hot outside and dry. We could sure use some rain. Nope. It's Saturday, so at least the dump trucks have stopped next door for now. Hopefully nobody gets overtime today to run them. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna take <clears throat> the kneaded eraser that I mentioned earlier. And erase, make sure these are dry, but I think they dry pretty quick. And just dab the pencil off so it doesn't show. We just had the married couples church group over for dinner last night. Everybody brought things and we had a big taco dinner and that was so much fun because with all the COVID stuff, we haven't gotten to get together much. And so everybody's kind of <laughs> reacquainting themselves with each other. So that was really fun. Okay, so I'm going to glue these in the middle of these circles now. Hopefully that goes okay. Let's see. Uh-oh. I've pulled the metal stopper out of my Barely Art glue, and it sticks to the pin if I'm not careful, instead of staying in the bottle. Okay, so... Okay, I think I might just put the glue in the middle of the circle. How about that? Okay, so I've got those done. And I think I'm going to use, my sister sent me some of this cotton frayed string that she was telling me about, and I think it's really cute. So I'm going to use that to stick these two. So if you're going to do one of these two, what I did was to make sure that, like if a banner goes like this, what you want to check is that when the when the journal is shut, that it doesn't stick out of the bottom. And so I think that will be fine. I need to figure out where I want to put it. Actually, no, I don't. I think I'm not going to put it in right now. I think I'll just go ahead and make the banner. But what I need to do is allow enough that I can put it through two holes and tie it in a knot. So 
I'm going to go ahead and cut that much. And so for these to fit in this journal as big as they are, it's, they're going to have to be super close. Something like that. So I'm going to start with the middle S. And I think what I'll do is use these up on the backs since I cut them out. They're really cute though, but anyway. <laughs> okay, so. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to put some glue across the middle. Guessing this will work. And actually, I need to put the glue on the string because the string, it's going to be not in a straight line. So I'm going to put some glue here and I really just need enough to hold it because I'm going to go back with the circle on the back and kind of cement the deal. No pun intended. Well, pun intended. <laughs> okay. So I'm just leaving a little bit of space between them. So something like that. And I'm gonna flip them over and then glue these on. I'm applying a little bit more pressure just because it has to go over that cord and then glue down on each side of it. I'll make sure it gets stuck down really well. Okay, so it should look like that whenever it's opened. And then when it shuts, I'll just take one page here. When it shuts, it won't stick out in the bottom. Okay. All right, so then I'm looking through here. Just I know I'm going to stick it in later, but I'm just kind of curious if there's place that lends itself to that more than others. And it won't work on this. It's going to have to be between two pages. So maybe one of these ones where it's just a hem. That might be cute. 